20% of the top 1,000 Docker images have at least one high vulnerability. Jonathan, I understand you've got a story on vulnerable Docker containers? Yes, Jim, thank you. Uh, actually, um, I'm going to go back in time a little bit. So two months ago when I was last here, I mm -hmm. brought up a story about Alpine Linux and, uh, and, and the root account having like a, an empty password. Well, it seems like this researcher, so not my story, but the story in general, and was inspired to try to figure out how many more there were. Uh, this is uh, Jerry uh, Gamblin from Kenna Security. Uh, so he, he started trying to figure out, all right, how do I scan uh, a, a Docker image from Docker Hub? Uh, so around the same time in May, a group from Japan made this uh, open source application called Trivi, which allows you to actually pull a, a Docker image from the, a, the Hub or a private registry and actually uh, scan for, you know, run, extract the, con the contents of it and, and find out what vulnerabilities are running either in the OS level or even in some applications. I think they, they're covering uh, like Node, uh, uh, NPM applications, and Yarn, uh, and there's some others. Mm -hmm. So this researcher was like, perfect, the tool that I need to be able to, to run, uh, to find out what's going on in these images. So he actually ran uh, this tool through I think the top 10,000 uh, most pulled uh, images in Docker and uh, put the results out on the web. But uh, I think uh, vulnerablecontainers.org is the website. So that might be a good thing if you're big in the Docker space and you're making your own containers um, and images that you use that as a means of maybe as part of your production process to identify if you have any vulnerabilities in a container that you're building or using. Uh, one of them actually he mentioned in his, I was following him on Twitter, um, that is a little scary is uh, I think uh, uh, Ruby on Rails which is very popular. Yeah. Uh, so um, there was an image called Rails that was deprecated uh, about two years ago. So lots of, you know, two years wor worth of vulnerabilities in the OS and everything else um, that, um, that people are kind of still pulling from. Uh, Docker officially moved it to a new image called uh, Ruby. So unless you're aware that the name changed. Oh, because normally wouldn't it like, <laughs> uh, like with, if it was still called Rails and they kept updating right. that, wouldn't you get like the new version? Correct, and, and that's kind of misleading, right? Because you can get the latest tag and keep pulling the latest image, but if they haven't updated in two years, right, right. Um, uh, the, the researcher- they moved it to a different name. And they so. moved it to a different name. Right. Yeah, the researcher points out that there's actually not clear way for you as someone pulling that to know that that's been deprecated unless you go to Docker Hub and see the description that says deprecated, right? Right, right. Um, so hopefully, you know, I think they're, they're talking about maybe trying to get someone to maybe put something in the command line to tell you, hey, stop using this or, or something where uh, a person pulling this, uh, you know, could have been from any, something that could have been used for years. So just, you know, from Rails, grab the latest. Right, right. Uh, but it's, you know, it's, it's, it's one of the, Interesting. Uh, you know, millions of downloads, millions of pulls. You can keep pulling the latest, but just no updates coming. So I think there's some room for the Docker community to make users of Docker containers more aware of a potential issue with a container that they're importing or pulling in. So please check out the, the list that he, that he released of all these uh, vulnerable Docker images, but uh, it's uh, a lot. A lot of uh, images that are, uh, you know, just maybe running on old OS um, or running, uh, you know, or just people that have uh, build applications that might just be running old packages. And uh, it, this tool, might help you just have a better idea of, of what you're using in your environment. Right. Um, I was looking at the article and I noticed that they said uh, over 20% of them contain at least one vulnerability that would be considered high risk. Right. So it would be interesting. The, like to me, what I would be looking for as an attacker is which one of these containers have remotely exploitable right. vulnerabilities so I could go 
try to find more of them out there on the internet and things like that. Uh, I don't know, I haven't looked at their their right. website to see how they score these, but they have their own risk scores that they say. Yeah, I think Canna Security has their own risk score um, and it's some value between zero and a thousand. So there is a column for that and I think, you know, if you see something with, I believe it was like 600 or more Canna score, then you should really figure out how to either you know, patch that or use whatever version is the latest um, mm -hmm. for that specific uh, image. Yeah, well, that's one of the things, you know, Docker, you're containerizing it, you're, but you're mostly worried about your application, but you can build these on top of, you know, multiple other Docker images and how many people pay attention to the patches that are getting applied to the images that they're building on top of. Right. You know, you forget that these things get updated so quickly where now maybe if you use a tool like this where it shows you, you know, your image actually has X amount of issues update to this latest one, then it, it should be like a warning almost. Definitely something to keep an eye on. Dockerization, like Docker containers and containerization is really it's, hot over the past here. couple of years yeah. here. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, even like uh, more so, you know, it really has taken a lot of the market share over the virtualization of, you know, virtual machines and whatnot, because they're lighter weight, uh, you can do more. So, all right, thanks, Jonathan. Thanks.